Hi guys, it's Bailey, and today we're doing a booty lifting Pilates workout. Get ready to feel the burn. All right, let's get started down in a four point kneeling. And from here, I want you to take the right leg back, and we're just gonna start with a simple lift and lower. So just starting to activate through the back of the leg and glutes. Lifting up and down. Beautiful lift and lower. Now these ones are great to start to just activate right into the glute and back of the leg. My favorite glute exercises are these four point kneeling ones. I find that they just really help to get right into the muscles a lot more effectively than doing squats or other traditional exercises. Good, lifting up and down. Beautiful, five. For four. For three. For two. Good, now from here what I want you to do is draw a rainbow. Tap across the body and then up and over out to the side. Lifting up and across to the side. Beautiful, so getting that nice little rainbow. Tapping from side to side. Trying to get that leg out in line with the hip. Good. This one, you really start to feel all those muscles switching on. Good. Little lift. And up. Good job, you guys. So this one, we're really going to be focusing on getting all the muscles in the glue. Working it from all angles. It's going to be a good one. I can just tell. <laughs> it's going to burn. Beautiful. Three. Good, for two. Beautiful, now from here what I want you to do is drop your left forearm down and then from here we're gonna come out to the side. So I want you to cross diagonally behind the opposite knee and then kick out to the side. Good, cross diagonally across, little kick. Good, cross and kick. So this is great. We've already started to warm up through the center of the glute. This one's really going to help get us into the side of those glutes. And kick. Cross. You'll start to feel that support leg bend. Or sorry. <laughs> Good. You're going to start to feel that support leg burning as well. Good, two more. Beautiful, now we're gonna switch it up from here. Let's come back up to those hands and you're gonna cross behind, kick to the side, kick back, cross behind. To the side, lift, behind, and out. Good, so really lifting up here. Crossing, kick, and lift. Beautiful, cross, kick, reach, cross, kick, and reach. Good, so this one really starts to get into that support glute. We're getting to the side of the glute, the center, and then getting those diagonal muscle fibers by crossing behind the opposite knee, squeeze. Good, four more. For three. Good, for two. Beautiful, last one. Good, now from here, take that knee down. We're dropping that left forearm again. And we're gonna do a circle. So you're gonna pull the knee sort of out to the side and then kick it back. So it's a bit more of a circular motion and lengthen. Good, circle to the side, kick it back. Now the reason that this workout is so effective is because we have three muscles in the glute, but the muscle fibers run all directions. So they run up and down, side to side, and diagonally. And when you do something like a squat or a lunge, it usually just targets one of the muscles in the glute, one or two, and just gets the muscle fibers in that up and down or side to side direction. 
So by adding in some more of these circular movements, we're really gonna start to target every inch of the glute muscle, glute muscle, <laughs> and get that nice booty lift we're after. Three more, good, for two. Beautiful, last one. Now from here, drop both the forearms and we're just going to come back to that little cross. So crossing diagonally behind, lifting up. Diagonally behind, lifting up. Good, now for this one, we're really also working the core. Good, cross and lift. Beautiful, cross and lift. You could start to add a pair of ankle weights after you've done this a couple of times. Just make sure your form is good first before adding resistance. Cross and lift. Cross and lift. Good, three more. For two. Good, last one. I want you guys to reach and hold. Lift that leg higher. Good, hold it here for five, four, three, two. Beautiful, now come down to your knees. Press those hands into the mat, tuck the toes. From here, what we're gonna do is lift up towards the downward dog, keep with those leg lifts. Good, so right leg still on that right leg. Good, lifting up and down. Beautiful, lift and lower. So you'll feel this on that opposite glute. Good, little lift and lower. Lift and lower, beautiful. Five more for four, for three, for two. Last one, now bring those feet back down, drop the knees, come back down to the forearms. Good, from here, now we're pressing through the heel. So we're gonna bend it in halfway little press bend and press really push through the heel good little press so you should feel this right in the center of the glute right in that under butt area press little bend press good four more here good now hold it lift it higher for five, four, three, two. Good, bring it in, tuck those toes again. We're doing those lifts in our down dog. Pressing the heel, bend it in halfway, and press. This one is a burner, and press. Good, bend it in, and push. Good job, you guys. Stay with it. Press through that heel. Three. For two. Reach and hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. Good. Lower the foot down. From here, come into a high plank. Always mixing in a bit of plank. Ab work. Good. Four. Three. Two. Good. Drop the left forearm. Rotate to the side. Good. Lifting that arm for five. Four, three, two, good. Now drop your left knee and that top leg, we're gonna start to work into the side glutes here. Beautiful, lifting up, lowering down. Good. Good work, you guys. So this one, we wanna try to keep our hips stacked and really working into the side of the glutes and hips. You should feel it right here in that hip area, that side booty. See, this one's great. It's just like you could be watching TV at home, doing these. <laughs> just kidding, no one does that. That's why we're working out now. We're not gonna do this while we watch Real Housewives. Good, four more. For three, for two. Good, let's switch it up from here. I want you guys to kick forward kick backwards, then lift. Forwards, backwards, and lift. Good, front, 
back and kick. Good job, you guys. I don't mind if you move your hips a little here. Really push back, working the back of the glutes, kicking up. Good, front, back, and lift. Woo, feeling the burn here. It is so real. Front, back, and lift. Front, back, and lift. Good job, you guys. Back, and lift. Good, you should really feel this in those glutes. Beautiful, front, back, and lift. Good, four more. For three. For two. Good, front, back, and lift. Now from here, rolling over onto your back, set of bridging. We're gonna lie down flat, squeeze those legs together, start to lift and lower. Good, squeezing the center of that glute. Little lift and lower. Beautiful, lift and lower. Good, this one really gets right into the center of those glutes. Lift and lower. Good, pressing into those heels. Four more. For three. For two. Good, now we're gonna lift the left leg from here. Flex the heel, lower down, point lift. Flex lower, point lift. Flex lower, point lift. So we still are working that right glute. Point to lift, left leg lowers, lift. Three more. For two. Good, now we're gonna hold those toes up to the sky, little pulses down and up, down and up. Good job, you guys, for five, four, three, two, one, hold it up. Good, bring those feet down. From here, let's come back up to our kneeling and do that on the other side. All right, let's come right onto that left leg, starting with those straight leg lifts. So from here, hips facing towards the mat. I'm really lifting from squeezing the center of the glute, pointing that toe. Good, lift and lower. Beautiful. So you should already be feeling that support glute because we just worked literally every inch of it. And we're gonna even it out. Can't go walking around with lopsided glutes. Got to make it through this side. Beautiful. I love butt workouts. It's always been like, I don't know, I've had like a really hard time building a butt until I discovered these sort of workouts. Like Pilates and bar I find have just really helped give me the little bum I have now. <laughs> really helps to give you that peachy bum. Good, lifting up. Beautiful. Good job, you guys. Let's do another five, four, three, two. Good, now take it to rainbows. Tap across and out to the side. Good, up and over. This is where we start to work all those little muscles in the glutes. Good, so really lift across, and then tapping out to the side, just wherever your hip mobility goes. So even if it's just here, that's totally fine. We all have a different amount of flexibility through the hips. So don't worry if you can't like kick it right in line with the hip. Just kicking up and over, keeping it in a range. The most important thing here is getting that little lift through center. Stay with it, four more. For two. Good, now from here what I want you guys to do is drop that right forearm, cross diagonally behind, kick to the side. So now we really get into that side booty, 
We got those diagonal muscle fibers that are the ones we often can't target with traditional glute exercises. Good, little cross and squeeze. This one's also great for your obliques. Just a little bonus ab work. Cross and kick. The breeze feels so nice today. Beautiful day. Good. So funny, autumn here is like spring back home in Canada. And kick. Three more. For two. Good job, you guys. Last one. Now from here, we're gonna add it on. We're gonna kick to the side, kick back, cross behind. Kick lift and cross Ooh, kick <laughs> lift it up and cross good four more here for three if you are doing this with ankle weights this one is a killer <laughs> for two good last one now from here let's take it out to the side lift it right up good coming through a circle here I want you guys to take the leg out to the side and then really reach it back. Good, out to the side and reach it back. Good, this one really helps to start to activate into those hips, those side glutes, and you really feel it on the support glute as well. Good, beautiful. So it's almost like you're doing one of those fire hydrants and then instead of opening to the side, you really extend right back. Good. Reach. Good, five more here. For four. For three. For two. Good, from here we're gonna come down to those forearms. We're gonna cross diagonally behind, lift it right up. Diagonal cross and lift. This one you feel those side glutes so much. Woo, the support leg, it is burning. This one, this whole workout is basically like a push-up bra for our butts. <laughs> like everything's just gonna be an inch higher when we finish today in all the right places. Woo! Going into summer too. I love to, well, for you guys back in North America, but go, whenever it's coming into spring, summer, I love this one just because it also tones up the back of the leg, sort of helps reduce appearance if you have cellulite, which we all do. That and a spray tan really just help make the back of the legs look great. Good, little cross and lift, cross and lift, good, four more. For three, whew, my butt is on fire. Good, for two. Good, from here, hold it up, good. Now we're gonna bring it down. Coming up to our hands, lifting to the down dog. Left leg's lifting right up, tapping down. Lift up and down. Good. This one, you're really gonna feel that support leg. Lift it up and down. Good. Getting that nice height. Beautiful job, you guys. Lift and lower. Good, five, for four, for three, for two, good. Last one, bring the feet down. From here, coming down to the forearms, we're gonna take the left leg, flex the heel, bend it in halfway, and press. Halfway, and press. This is my favorite one for that little under butt area, and press. Good, really push out and up through the heel.
Good, three more. For two. Good, reach and hold, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now bringing it in, back up to those down dogs. Tuck the toes, lifting up, left leg, press, bend in halfway, press it out and up. Good, press. Good work, you guys. These ones are so, so good for toning those glutes. Stay with it. Coming into the down dog gives us a way better range of motion. We can get so much deeper into the muscle. Three for two. Good, last one. Bring the foot down, coming into that high plank. Good, really squeezing the glutes, dropping down. Good, for five, four, three, two. Drop the right forearm, opening to the side, coming into our side plank. Beautiful, really lengthening, quick little Pilates ab move here. Good, then dropping the leg down, coming into those side leg lifts. So just resting on your forearm, starting to lift and lower. Good, so trying to keep those hips stacked for this one. Really starting to activate through those outer thighs, outer glutes. Good. Lifting up. If this is uncomfortable through the upper body, you can lie on your side to do them. It's just a little bit more core work to hold those abdominals on the lower end strong. Good, four more for three, for two. Good, let's take it to those kicks from here. Kick forward, kick back, rotate, kick to the ceiling. Good, kick forward, kick back, lifting up. Good, kick front, kick back. It's okay to unstack the hips when you do that kick. What I want you guys to focus on here is keeping that leg in hip height as you kick forward, kick back, kick up. This gets right into those hips inside glutes. Beautiful. Kick, kick. Beautiful. Kick back, lifting up. If you have ankle weights on at home, this one is another killer. Woo, so good for getting into those little muscles in the hip, in the side of the glutes. Good, kick, 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 kick. Good job, you guys, stay with it. Three, and kick for two, and kick. Good, last one, and kick. Then from here, come onto our backs, coming into those bridges, squeezing through the inner thighs inside of the legs. Lift those hips and tap down. Really push into the heels. You guys wanna feel like you're really getting that under butt area. And this one's great when you are squeezing the inside of the legs and the knees together. Like you're holding a million dollar bell between the knees, squeezing in. It really helps to wrap around through that under area of the thigh, right to the inner thighs. Tones everything in the back of the legs. Good. Three more here. For two. Good, now we're gonna hold it up. Keep pressing the left foot in. The right leg's gonna lift up, flex down, and lift. Good, really pressing through that left heel, still working that same glute. Beautiful, lower and lift. Three, for two. Good, hold it up, little pulses, down and up, down and up. Stay with me, you guys. Good, just for five, four, squeeze those glutes for two. Reach, hold. And bring it in. Good job, you guys. Take one knee in each hand. Draw some circles here. 
Massaging the low back into the socket. Good, hug your right knee and lengthen the left leg. Reach up, stretch those hamstrings. Good, bend, take it across the opposite knee, just stretching through the glute, hip flexor. Beautiful, other side, lengthen, pulling that left knee in. Feels so good to stretch after. Lengthen. Good. Crossing that ankle over the opposite knee. Great job, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that quick booty lifting routine. Let me know what workouts you want to see next in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to film them for you. I love taking requests from you guys and hearing your feedback on the workouts. So leave me a comment. It makes my day. <laughs> okay, I'll see you soon.